Hey there, welcome back. So, last time, we did some Dragon Car. We... I forgot what else we did. We did Dragon Car and another thing, and now... Uh... Well, we found, uh, Liamong. And it took us beating up a guy... Not... actually... Yeah, we beat up a guy. In a club. And now we're gonna try and get jobs at the warehouse that Mabuchi owns to see if we can get closer. The problem is now, we asked too many questions and now we're being hunted by the Leomog. So now we have to try and avoid them. Also, hopefully the game's sound is... Yeah, okay, it looks good. I only got one monitor, so you have to forgive me when I alt tab out. And before you ask, when I get two, I'll be like two at the moment. You know, times and all that. All right, we're not going this way. There's a guy over there. All right. Um, we can go north and try not to... Ah, we're going through the store. Yes. Oh, wait. Do we have to get out the other... Oh, no. We have to go over there. Okay. I can take a taxi over there. Oh wow, that was easy. So yeah, now we're gonna go to Hello Work and attempt to get jobs at the warehouse that Mabuchi owns. Mabuchi. We'll see whether or not that's a success, but first, let's do this. Oh, my stomach today is a little... Eh. <sighs> I think we're safe now. <sighs> Time to head on back for the evening. See you in front of Hello Work tomorrow. Hold on. Who's up for a nightcap in the room? Wow, it doesn't take you long to make yourself at home, Adachi san. This is really nice to see. What is? How you all seem thick as thieves already. Really? It's not like we've known each other that long. Oh, this is just how guys are, Sachan. Now, let's go home. Be careful on your way back. She'll be fine. If someone attacks her, he'll end up in worse shape than she will. <laughs> That's right. I pity the man who messes with me. Okay, Mr. T. Me too. Good night. <laughs> hey. Hmm? Forget something? Was I holding something in my purse for you? No, it's not that. I, I was thinking... Look, our place is cramped and kind of dirty, but... But... If you don't mind that sort of thing, want to come stay with us? Are you sure? Yeah, as long as you don't take one look at it and run out screaming. It is pretty filthy. You're a nice guy, you know that? Me? <laughs> Never mind. Thank you. It's gonna be weird. Having three guys in a chick share a room, but ah, whatever. Wait, is this? Yep. Don't judge too harshly now. We get to stay on the second floor in exchange for protecting the place from Bleach Japan. I didn't even know there were places like this in Ijinjo. Haha, <laughs> you finally sweet talked a girl into coming here? Who's the lucky lady? No, uh, <laughs> it's, it's it's not like that. Not at all. And I'd hardly call anybody invited here lucky. So you're just a friend of these guys? Yeah, I am. I'm betting big on them. You might say my life is a chip in their pile now. That's pretty much our relationship, isn't it? Hmm. Such a... <laughs> well, if you think it's a smart gamble... I certainly do. I hope none of you are out to prove me wrong. I, I mean, we'll sure as hell try not to. Hmm. <sighs> oh, 
my head hurts. Same. Hey! What's wrong, guys? We're off to hell at work, so look alive! Damn, Sachan. You feel totally fine after drinking all that. Really? That was practically a nightcap. For real? Seriously? Wow, you guys are pathetic. Who's the one saying he'd give his uh, his best shot? Hey, yeah. So get in gear. We're heading to hello work. Sh sure. <sighs> I've never met a woman who holds her look like she can. Quite a compliment come from you. All right, hello work day. Let's do this. Also, it's a new day, so any new quests? Doesn't. Oh yes, there is. Some people probably wait until like end game before the end of the game to do all the quests, but I like to do them as I go. They're a nice break from the flow. Also, oh wait, if this is the part, maybe I do want to save it. Yeah, you know what? Never mind. We're going to hella work. Dude, I got a fire stick. Okay. You do not want to do this. Alright, Namba, go. Oh, nice. Alright. Oh my god, Namba Chris. Nice. One second, I forgot. I got a titanium bangle the other day. Rusted chain mat. Ooh, cotton gloves. Uh, gives you more dexterity. I'll probably give that to her. She doesn't have anything except mysterious blush. Yeah, give her the cotton gloves. Uh, work overalls. She's wearing sooty work clothes. Yes. And we only got the, the helms, and then those boots are worse for you. I feel like I got something of recent. What was it? Oh well. Yeah, I'm waiting until we do this, because I think this is where I unlock job classes. And if so, I'm gonna want all the XP I get for them. Also, money? Ah, mm -hmm. uh, that's stupid. Never mind. Oh wait, yeah, there's always been a silver safe here I always ran by. Should I open it? I should probably open it for, you know... I got a feeling... Yeah. Ah, that's a waste. Oh well. Hmm. The Yokohama Trading Company. Hmm. I heard they were in the market for part-timers lately. Hmm? Really? Apparently their shipments from China are picking up, and they need more dock workers to unload them. Then it's perfect timing. Could you get us a sign there? That'd be easy enough, but... I've heard some not-so-great rumors about the Yokohama Trading Company. What? Like what? They mainly import expensive ingredients like shark fin and abdoline, abdoline. It's all first-class stuff. Every Chinese restaurant in Japan is trying to buy from them because they sell them f well below market prices. Okay. Well? <clears throat> well, I heard the same. You'd think they'd be selling in large quantities for small profits, which would mean they might ev even lose money sometimes, yet they seem to be expanding quickly. What do the rumors have to say about that? Hmm. The most common one is that it's some kind of fraud. Like, maybe the ingredients aren't for class after all. But then they change the labels to make them look higher grade. Otherwise, there'll be no explanation for how you could be profitable. I know it's just rumors, but are you sure you want to work at a place like that? <laughs> Hell yeah, kanbei san That's actually just the info we were looking for. Mm -hmm. Huh? We're gonna get jobs at this trading company and find evidence that they're frauds. Hmm. So... This is another undercover investigation. Hmm. Don't you think this is pretty risky? Yeah. We know it is. But if we get cold, hard proof, Mabuchi will have no choice but to meet with us. Mabuchi? The owner of the Yoka Yokohama Train Company. I see. So your goal here is just to meet him? That only makes me worry more. Do you know Mabuchi, kanbei san Hmm. You stay here long enough, you eventually learn the name of every a crime lord or two. But I imagine you know that. 
So, does that have something to do with Naomi-san? I won't say too much, but I'll say I still feel like an employee of Orihime Land. Orihime Land. And Nomahima, Noma, Noma uh, san treated us well. I don't know why he died. I want to know why he died. I see. I can understand that. But please be careful. Not even the police can get close to Mabuchi and his gang of ruffians. One wrong move and your life may be in danger. Yes. It's okay. Survival is our first priority on the job. So, do you think you can guess into those, uh, us those jobs? You're not exactly the type to change his mind once you made it up, are you? We'll be fine. We've got another new ally, after all. So, this, this old young lady is with you. <laughs> A pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Your party is getting quite unique. Pretty unique. In that case, let me get in touch with my client. It will, it'll take me a few. But, while you're looking, why not do some contract work? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? So, well, with Odahime Land, our commission, you're back to being unemployed, right? And you only want this warehouse gig to get info. You're playing the long game, but you still need to have income. Mm. True. There's been so much going down, I forgot we're basically broke again. Well, now you have some experience under your belts, I should be able to find some work for you. Why don't you speak to Ririka over there about it? She takes a while to warm up to people, but her work is impeccable. Got it. I'll talk to her, then. Thanks. Class uh, Devil Rock. Oh. <laughs> Ignore those. <laughs> Definitely not DLC. <clears throat> Excuse me. My name is Kasuga. I know. You're the director's favorite formerly homeless go-getter, aren't you? Am I right in assuming that you're here to find work again now that Otohime Land is shut down? Y yeah, uh, so what should we do now? Since this is the first time you'll be using our services without going through the director, let me explain. Yeah, and thanks a bunch. Okay, take a look then. Yeah! Yes, yes, yes! How to change jobs. You can change jobs at Hello Work. Each char each character is suited for different jobs, so be sure, be sure to choose the ones that work for each party member. How to unlock jobs. Jobs will become available as you progress through the main story. However, you will not be able to change to a job until you meet its prerequisite... Prerequisite to English. I know it. I read it. Also, changing uniforms. Changing a character's job will cause them to wear a uniform associated with that job. You can freely select unif uh, from the uniforms available. That about covers it. I'll be able to place you in more jobs once everyone starts gaining experience. Your options Work are experience. a bit limited right now, <laughs> but you'll find many more jobs are available once you've made some progress. Uh, I gotcha. Anyway, here's what I have at the moment. I love how they make of course, these you're sound responsible like. responsible for any adjustments oh. you must make when you change jobs. I love how they make these sound like, yeah, like it makes sense as a, you're actually, I don't know, getting jobs, but she also kind of makes it sound like you're changing jobs, like classes. It's always funny. Let's see, we could be freelancer again, which no, hero, bodyguard. Excels with a katana capable of learning techniques that harms oneself to inflict even worse pain on the enemy. Jobs unavailable until it gets to level 3. Right now it's level 2. A breaker. Pops, pops, locks, and drops the enemies to the floor. Capable of learning a variety of funky, fresh dance techniques. to, to Basically, uh, Foreman is the heavy hitter. Wields a mighty hammer to get the job done. Capable of learning techniques to crush anything. Musician. Oh, musician is amazing. I love musician. Chef. I'm gonna go bodyguard. No. 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 Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> you know what? Let's go. I really like Pattern 2. Job change! I'm a bodyguard. Nanba! Oh, musician. 
You know, I'm feeling... Goro Majima. Also, musician. Take on the world with a trusty guitar and the power of music. Capable of learning techniques to inspire your allies with song or dampen the enemy's fighting spirit. Basically, think of a bard. Oh. Yes. Enforcer. I think, personally, his best class. Employs standard issue shields and batons. Capable of learning techniques to protect one's allies or overwhelm one's foes. Yes. Force of Power 1, Power 2. I'm going to give you that. And now... Okay, Hostess or Idol? Alright, Hostess. Bring its enemies to their knees thanks to a trendy clutch bag and a hospitable spirit. Capable of learning special Hostess skills that will have the enemy completely wrapped around one's finger. And the Idol, which I probably might go for because I need a heal. Let's one sing and dance their way to victory using assortment microphones. Capable of learning techniques to make complete fools of the enemy with cutesy movements or heal allies with an overflow charm. Uh, let's see. What do I want? No. Uh, normal. I actually, I like this one. All right. We have idol. We got... Enforcer, Musician, which I can change Musician probably to him being Breaker, which is hilarious if you think about it. Uh, let's see, do I want him to be Musician right now? Because Musician and Idol are kind of the same. Um, uh, I'm gonna try it. Roger that. So this is how we change jobs. Yes, just talk to me when you want to try out something new. There's no limit to the number of times you can switch, and you can always resume your previous job too. You may even want to try a bunch out to see which one feels right for you. Nice. I definitely didn't think it'd be this easy to switch jobs. Well, that's in part due to how I'm only able to offer you easy jobs right now. And because I'm the one handling all the paperwork. Just keep that in mind. Uh, sure. I'll remember that. And that'll do it, I think. Now, as for that part-time job at the Yokohama Trading Company, which you and the director spoke about, they called us to say you were hired. No, really? Yes. They'd like to start you straight away. But right now, even. The warehouse you'll be working in is north of Hamakita Park. It's not exactly walkable, so I'd recommend taking the train. Got it. Thanks, Ririka chan. We'll be back when we need Ririka. to change jobs. Okay, that's kind of close. Looking forward to it. Ririka chan? I'm glad you're so excited. Please come by any time. Stop confusing the young lady. Alright. We're making some good we're making good progress. Let's get to the warehouse and Jin Jin Jai station. Alright, so first things first, I'm gonna be running around and getting used to my new classes, and I might have to get some new weaponry. Alright. Actually give me a second. One second. Check jobs. I wanna check nope musician. Skills. Endless Desire. Okay. So he's gonna get that level 4. So actually, yeah. Okay, okay. I want Musician more than Idol. Idol, though, will be absolutely necessary later. But I'm gonna change jobs for her. You're gonna be a hostess with Pattern. Honestly, you look great with Pattern. Congratulations. Do your best out there. Right, thank you. Okay. I wanna make sure I don't have any, you know overlapping jobs like that. Okay, let's go. Our outfits only change in battle. The only time you can actually change an outfit, which is like every Yakuza game, is free, like you play the uh, free player, or it's called, where you complete the game, but you still go around. Now, I am going to do this. I need some XP. I want XP, because we just changed classes. The only thing that carries over is our level level. But now our class level is zero, and I want XP for that now. Because if I go and do stuff now and fight people my level with no skills or no levels, it's going to be a pain in the butt. 
Oh, it's this quest. Oh, it's... Ooh, check that fruit out. Didn't notice this was a persimmon tree. And damn, it's a big one, ain't it? Hello there. Hmm? Are you out for a stroll too? It's the perfect weather for it. Yeah, sure. Hey, Kanachan. <sighs> you guys taking a walk too? Yes, staying cooped up in the house doesn't do much for one's health. So we step out for a walk from time to time. Oh, cool. Not like it matters. I'm going to die soon anyway. Once that persimmon falls from that tree, my life is over. There you go again with that nonsense. Sorry about that. No, don't sweat it. Well, if you'll excuse us, let's go, Kanachan. That girl. I wonder if she's sick. When the persimmon falls from the branch. Persimmon permission. Premonition, my bad. Alright, we all know what's about to happen. Walk away, walk to. Actually, let's see if this place has any decent, you know, armor and all that. Hey! No, you don't. Well, you got shoes that are better, but you don't have anything. Alright, we might have to go to the sex store. Oh. Hey. Hey. The kid's not with you today? Oh, what? Oh. You're the man from earlier. Hey. No. She's resting at home today. Her surgery is soon, and so she's not going to be able to go outside as often. Surgery? <sighs> Kana-chan, my daughter was born significantly weaker than most children. They get to go to school while she doesn't. Her learning at the hospital. She's been receiving treatment before her upcoming surgery. On days when she's feeling better, we'd go out for a walk like last time. Despite that, it seems the routine has finally caused her to shut herself in. I had no idea. Does the surgery sound promising? Mm. Well, she's healthy enough to go through with it, but the problem is that she's losing her will to live, and that certainly complicates things. Mm? Her will to live? Yeah. One's well-being is often dampened on willpower. Even if the body is doing well, a lack of willpower will eventually drag the body down with it. Wow. Right. I guess she... I guess she's got to make it through... She got... She has... Ah! Right, I guess she's got to want to make it through it. To it, huh? Ah, whatever. Exactly. I've been trying to do what I can. Like taking her outside for walks, but... It doesn't seem to be helping. You can see this tree from our home nearby, and each time she looks out the window, it's the same thing. Once that persimmon falls from the tree, my life is over. I'm starting to fear that when the persimmon does fall, her life really will fall with it. I'll come here whenever I can to check on the persimmon. I hope it doesn't fall before her surgery. Forgive me, I didn't mean to get you involved in this. No. No, I don't mind at all. My name is Shibuya, by the way. Yeah. I'm Kazuga. I swing by this area pretty often, too, so I'll keep an eye on that persimmon. Thanks. Very kind of you. Well, I should be going. You better stay on that branch until her surgery, little fruit. Let's go back to the item shop. Maybe I missed something. Ma'am, are you holding out on me? Ah, oh, you know, I give up. Oh my god. Hey, I'm pretty sure that girl Conoco's special persimmon trees over here somewhere. I wonder if the fruit's still... Huh? 
You gotta be kidding me. Yo, what the hell are you doing? Mm. What's it look like? I'm practicing on this tree, boss. Why here? Can't you, like, do that shit at the sumo stable or something? I'd be more than happy to, boss. But I'm afraid that's no longer an option. Why is that? Our sumo stable's pretty small, with only my master, my mentor, and myself. I usually practice with my mentor. But one day, he went out for drinks with another wrestler and, well, had a large bottle of sake broken over his head. A bottle of sake? The culprit claims he was too drunk to remember anything, but because of him, my mentor's in the hospital. Three months for a full recovery, they say. I lost my practice partner. My brother. My family boss. I'm gonna avenge him at the Spring Sumo Tournament. That's why I'm training for the big battle with this here tree. You're acting like the guy's dead. And look, nothing personal, but could you at least practice on another tree? Seriously, any tree other than this one. Sorry, boss, but of all the trees in Yokohama, this one is the biggest and feels the most like my boy. Yes, sir. I get the feeling this tree's gonna make me a whole lot stronger. This partner must be some kind of monster. That being said, I'll show no mercy to anyone who stands between me and my practice! Yo, I ain't telling you to stop practicing. I'm just worried about the persimmon on this tree. And I'm worried about wasting time and losing my rank! But if you insist on stopping me, then I'm just gonna have to practice on you, boss! Ah, so quick to violence. Oh wow, this one's take. Oh, what happened? Oh, wait. Oh, okay, we're good. I thought the game froze. Alright, let's. This move is great. Card shot's okay. Boundless cheer. Let me raise my attack. Alright, what we got? Album drop. Why not? Take this. Alright. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, I got power ring. Mm. Oh, well thought. Oh. Man, speak for yourself. Mm. Ah. Bit the persimmon. <sighs> Looks like it's okay. <laughs> the way you fight says it all, boss. You got something you want to protect. You'll protect this persimmon tree, no matter what the cost. Just like I'll protect my partner. <laughs> Guess you and me aren't so different after all, boss. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know about that. This tree here, it's yours, boss. Sure, sounds good. Thanks. As for me, I'm gonna find another worthy tree. Farewell, boss. Mm. Wouldn't it be quicker if he just found a different practice partner? Well, I'm just glad the persimmon's safe. I should check back from time to time. Hm. That's cute. That is cute. Alright, I gotta do this real quick. All right, let's go back to the shop. Cause I'm, I, I'm thinking I missed something in the shop. There has to be. <sighs> you know what? I just don't think there is. One of these days, maybe there'll be something I'm missing there. But for some reason, I just feel like I am missing objects there. All right, let's check this out. Oh, looks like the persimmon's okay. That was a really close call with that sumo wrestler. It should be fine now. Whoa, what the? Damn wind. The next one will get it. That pretty little persimmon's going down. Ow! Fucking. <laughs> Airsoft Damn. gun. BBs? Or a BB gun, yeah. Damn, these little bastards hurt. I don't know what's going on here. 
But I need to stop that maniac or the persimmon's gonna get shot. Hey! Stop shooting the fruit! Huh? Who the hell are you? Oh, you're that idiot who was dancing near my target. I wasn't dancing. You shot me, you dipshit! Did I? Oh, I'm sorry. Don't worry. I'll make sure the next one's on target. Hold up! Cease fire! Why does he have a what mini gun? against the fruit? I have nothing against that persimmon. I was just testing something out. Testing what out? I'm a big military fanboy. I had this sniper rifle imported from overseas, and it just arrived today. What do you think? Pretty cool, huh? It's a dream come true for a bolt-action lover like me. And I also can't complain about how genuine the specs are. Steel cylinder for maximum durability. The trigger even has that real authentic click. The hell's this guy talking about? Uh, anyway, I was wanting to test this baby out when, lo and behold, I found the perfect target. That pesky persimmon. Ah, oh, I get you. That's why you were shooting at it. That's cool and all, but you mind switching targets? What? I can't have you shooting at that persimmon. You see, there's this girl who's sick and... That's a negative! What? Why? A sniper never lets his target live. And I'm gonna put it down with my new partner here. Dude, it's a toy. Calm down. If you still intend to stop us, then you'll be our first hit! Oh no. Yep. Right, You're gonna defeat the military, not. Right. That's a spark of fight. Oh, I didn't do it in time. You're in it now. Yeah. Man, Nama's bringing down the house. Next nice. Nice. Plus five yeah. decks. We are the globe. I think that heals. Look at me go. Ooh, and yeah. P. And MP. Okay, I'm Dex. I should equip the Dex item on me. Damn! Never thought. Never really been one for close quarters combat. <sighs> Damn, it really didn't need to go down like that, man. Time to abort mission and move on. I don't want to see you shoot and at that thing again. Eh, fine. I'll let you have this one. The kill is yours. I'm not killing anything. Anyway. I'm gonna get going. Hey, hold up! One last thing. That was a fun fight. Human targets are... being the thrill... bring the thrill to a whole new level. Is it alright if we do this again once I order a new gun? Yeah. <sighs> sure, I'll kick your scope-loving ass as many times as you want. Long as you leave that persimmon alone. Heh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, why is it a minigun, though? Like, I'm not gonna question it. He just has a minigun in the background. <sighs> Brother. Alright, looks like the persimmon's safe now. Hopefully it stays that way until the surgery. Alright, I really do feel like I forgot something in that shop, though. There has to be something. Ah, you know what? I give up. That shop just doesn't have anything for me. What's that sound? What now? Oh, he's hammering a straw doll to the persimmon tree. Wait, persimmon tree? Ah! Hey! What the hell you think you're doing? None of your business. I'm casting a hex. Now scram! Yo, hold up, man! You stop that hex right now! Then why you gotta hurt the tree? <sighs> You'll never understand how I feel. I'm gonna cast the hex. On her. Her? Yes, on Hitomi. My classmate. And my girlfriend. You're putting a curse on your girlfriend? What the hell for? I finally realized she never cared about me. I caught her kissing my senpai from the soccer team. Right here in front of this tree! For fuck's sake. <laughs> of all places for the shit to go down. So I'm casting a hex. Hammering this doll right into their special spot. 
Oh, wait. I know it really sucks for your girl to have betrayed you like that, but this won't solve anything. She might have had a reason for doing what she did. Are you taking her side too? Huh? Nobody understands how I feel. Everybody always takes her side. No, that's not what I mean. Enough! I'll cast a hex on anyone who sides with that traitor! And you're first, Shrubby! Shrubby? Alright. Here we go. Ah, uh, some card shot. Okay. Alright, we are the globe. Oh, lowers all tack. Hmm. You know what? Guitar What's crush, this? she's done. Cool. Actually, I want to pass. I want to show you what he could do. Yes. Not him, but Adachi. There we go. Get serious. He doesn't have his one move. Transfer shield? Oh, that's useful. Alright, let's just do it. A great AoE attack, by the way. Ooh, new shoes. <laughs> You're tougher than you look. <sighs> Homie Chan. Sheesh, poor guy. He's been played by his girlfriend. Guess I can't blame him. The way she picked up my eraser for me with such tenderness was it all a lie. <laughs> eraser? Yeah, I dropped my eraser and Hitomi chan picked it up and gave it to me. <laughs> and when she did, our hands touched. That means we're dating now, doesn't it? Hmm? What? Ooh. What? Wait, is that really it? That's the extent of your relationship? Well, yes. I haven't spoken to her since. But that's enough, isn't it? Our hands touched. We're basically married now. Nah, that's not how it works. Not in the slightest. <sighs> ah, I see. You know, it was the first time a girl ever touched me. I'll lay off the witchcraft. Sorry for any trouble. Yeah, good plan. Goodbye, my love. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to look for an a new lover. Uh, oh, okay. Well, good luck. You'll need it. Oh, weirdo. I pay the next girl who who hands him some change or something. Mm. Either way, this tree attracts all sorts of weirdos, doesn't it? Wait, I was the first one here. <laughs> You know what? I got feeling this is the time. This time. Lady. Do you have any. Oh. One of these days, goddammit. Alright, let's see. Well, the persimmon looks alright. I wonder how Kanako chan is doing. I hope her surgery went okay. Kasuga san. Huh? You're Kanako chan's father. How's Kanako chan doing? The surgery go all right? <sighs> huh? No, don't tell me. Oh, uh, Kanako, come here. Kanako chan? Wait, she's all better now? She is. She used to always stare out the window with such a hopeless look in her eyes. But these days. That look's been replaced with a smile. Her surgery was a great success, and she's even up on her feet again. No way! That's great! She wanted to come say thank you. To me? Thank you, Kasuga-san. You protected the persimmon for me. Nah, no need to say thanks. No, I had a lot of fun watching you. Fighting a sumo wrestler, getting shot by a toy gun, comforting that witch boy. And all to protect the persimmon. I couldn't help but laugh. And it made me realize there's so much to see out there. It gave me the hope to keep going. Oh, yeah? 
guess it was all worth it then. There was also a part of me that wanted to skip the surgery just so I wouldn't miss out on the drama. <laughs> hey, hey, good thing you didn't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, it's nice to see you happy. I should also thank this tree. I'm still here thanks to this persimmon. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. Well, what do you say we eat it? Huh? You want to eat it? You don't need it anymore, right? Besides, look how good it looks. You wanted to eat it this whole time, haven't you? You got me. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Oh yeah, look! It's nice and ripe. You want dibs, Kanako-chan? I'll have some after you. You should go first since you worked so hard to protect it. You sure? Okay then, here goes. <clears throat> oh. Ugh. This is one of the bitter ones, huh? I <laughs> thought so. You mean you knew? Come on, Kanako-chan. <laughs> in the end, it left a bitter taste in his mouth. There we go. Oh. Oh. Sweet. I have the sumo guy as a pound mate. Um, I think we're good. I think that's all the side quests. Let's go get a job. I'm gonna run there because I haven't been here yet. No. No karaoke. Not just yet. Also, I want to fight a little bit on the way there. Level up my classes. Right. Alright. Ooh. You know what? We are the globe. Let's go. He still uses a baton, but he has a giant shield and makes him a great tank. Here we go. You want to go? Beautiful. Actually, I should one day go back to here to turn to my Sujimon. Well, I could do that after the next, you know, story mission thing that happens. Gotta catch them all, Sujimon. <laughs> oh, yay, I got worthless. <laughs> Right. All right. Show him your card. A pleasure to meet you. Fight. Okay. Watch this. Give peace a chance, everybody. I'm up. I got this. Actually, yeah. Damn it, he moved. Oh, I still got him. Wow. May leave the enemy bleeding. You know, what? let's just do this one. You're gonna get stomped. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That move's really good. Yeah. You know what? There we go. Beautiful. Get serious. Let's go. Right. ready now. Okay. Right, she heals MP now when she does damage. Watch this. Hope this hurts. You're gonna 
I know that uh, Namba has a chance of learning a skill that heals MP. Awesome. I feel the stats going up. <laughs> Moving up in the world. Nice. <laughs> Beautiful. Stats are going up, and I like to see that. No, nope, nothing in there. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. We'll go up. Let me just trigger the taxi. All right. Now we have that taxi unlocked for the future. Hello, Normie. We're going to the trains. Time to start our new job. Yeah. one job and one job only the freight comes in you unload it and sort by destination if you're slow slacking or sucking you get a visit from me you lady uh yes can you read and write i can add and subtract yes sir good you're on office duty thank you sir Man, he's lifting with his back. That's a really bad thing to do. Do not lift with your back. This is nothing. Well, don't go so hard you run out of gas like Namba did. He's just being a wimp. Oh, man. Why does Saiko get the desk job? I can do math, too. Probably shouldn't stay around too long. They'll notice. <laughs> Why don't we see what's inside these boxes? What the hell? They're shark fins. The expensive kind? Or the crappy ones? How would I know? This is dried abalone. That's expensive. Never had it myself. Paper. Do they use paper in Chinese food? In the food? That'd be weird. Well, Japanese cooking uses washi paper to steam things, so maybe China has something similar. Hey! What are you doing over there? Sorry, we'll get back to work. So listen, after the freight's unloaded, a sales rep from the tanker will bring the invoice. A sales rep? From the company that sold us the product. It'll be your job to process the invoice and get them paid. Here we are. This is the invoice. 
Uh, hold on. I never said I could read Chinese. It doesn't matter. You can read the total, can't you? The money's in the safe. It's self-explanatory. That was... How much was that in yen? About eight million. You paid eight million in cash? That's how we get such good deals on products. We pay in a single lump sum. Cash. In yuan. The seller gets all their money right away. And avoids paperwork. That's why these mainlanders are willing to sell to us at a much lower price than usual. Cash is king. And just in case it crossed your mind, don't even think of skimming any cash. We keep our eyes open in this warehouse. You pull anything funny, you'll be sorry you ever set foot here. Sir, I wouldn't dream of stealing. Well, you did miss three people going through your crates. So I wouldn't say you keep a watch on everything. <sighs> I'm exhausted. How you gonna do this every day? We just need a hold out until we can get proof of the fraud. Sorry to keep you waiting. Hey. Took you a while. They did a full body search while I was allowed before I was allowed to leave. I even had to show an employee inside my underwear to prove I wasn't stealing cash. Seriously? Seriously? Some guy's job to see your underwear every day? It was a woman. Moron. Obviously. Still, the loss prevention is no joke. Guess working with the money is God's own set of problems. <sighs> it doesn't feel great, I'll tell you that. You guys have it easy. Huh? What? That's not this nothing compared to what we're going through. Well, you're sure sweaty enough, huh? Especially you. Gross. What do you want from me? Or why do you always gotta pick on me? Yo. Cut it out, you goobers. Let's just go home and swap notes. Okay. I think I generally understand their cash flow now. Nice. That's one step forward. <laughs> it's no big deal. Now let's get moving. You guys need baths. ASEP. You're... And you're... You, and you're going first. <laughs> you harpy. Come on, enough fighting. At the moment, we got nothing but they paying cash. And they have shark fins, paper, and that weird, uh, the, uh, b -b 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 other meat that I forgot the name of. Alright, there's a taxi over there. We'll take that to, oh, he, he may land. I gotta explore the north a bit more, I know. But I will do that during the day and when I'm not doing this. Alright. Oh. Hey, I know this place. Yeah? What is it? That's Rose Blossom, a well known cabaret club around these parts. So this is where it was. Huh. Yeah, it's been damn near forever since I've been inside of one. I think I'm having withdrawals here. You are aware I work at a cabaret club, right? Yeah, but I know you personally. I'd see right through the facade. If you really think I'd put up a facade just for you, you're going to be sorely disappointed. I wouldn't mind seeing your business facade. I don't know. It'd be cool. But enough about that. We'll come back and check this place out, okay? Yeah? You mean it? Uh, I hate to kill the mood, but I'm broke. You think I'd make you pay after inviting you out? I'm not that rude. Sweet! Kasuga, you're a gentleman and a friend. Yeah, well, count me out. There's no way I'm setting foot in a cabaret club on my day off. It'd be way too awkward if I ran into one of my former girls. If anything, I'll go kill time somewhere while you boys enjoy spending your money. Yeah? Uh, thanks, I guess? Woof, can't wait. Oh, I wonder what kind of girls they have. Mm. We haven't even gotten in the door yet, Adachi-san. All right. Shh. 
shit. I thought this fucking lube shit moved. <laughs> Looping up your hair. Yeah, refreshing. Crap, you, you're already out of the bath? Uh, sorry. Kasuga, relax. I know what a naked man looks like. Uh, cool, then. Uh, uh where's Adachi-san and Namba? I'm probably still washing up. Anyway, I was looking into today's price list. Those ingredients that came in were purchased at some pretty hefty prices. Like, what you'd expect for high-class stuff. Must be primo, then. Guess they aren't lying to the restaurants about the quality. Nope. I mean, I'm sure they get a small discount for paying in cash, but... They're doing everything above board, far as I can tell. Damn. The only weird thing is how much they're reselling the ingredients for. What's weird? Like, take the shark fins. They buy 100 grams for 10,000 yen. How much would you sell them to a restaurant for? Uh, to make a decent profit on them... 20,000? Well, the Yokohama Trading Company sells them for just 10,000. What? Wait, wait, they buy it for 10,000 yen, then that sell is it for 10,000 no yen? That is no profit margin at all. doesn't make any sense. How are they turning a profit? Right? Unless it's volunteer work or something, I don't get it. How are they even staying open? Don't they at least need to cover their overhead? Not only have they stayed open, their profits have gone up over the years. For the life of me, I can't figure out how. Oh, I wish I could look at their ledger and not just their invoices. What would that tell you? I don't know, but I think I'd find signs of tax evasion. Don't do anything that would give yourself away. This is the Yokohama Liumon, remember? <laughs> I'll be fine. But you're really that worried about me? Of course I'm worried. Why? Because we're buddies. Because we're buddies? Huh. What? It's a good thing, ain't it? I just... <sighs> I've never really had someone that I could call a buddy. I always just... Kind of thought movies and manga made that stuff up. Or at the very least, it was something I'd never have. Well, you were wrong, because now you've got us on your side. Awesome. Remember, you need good party members to beat Dragon Quest. Uh, isn't that a video game? <laughs> well, yeah, but uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> You're a weird one. I can live with weird. It's true, anyway. Well, thank you, Kasuga, for making me one of your buddies. <laughs> What's up? Someone die in here? Ooh. Huh? Oh, we were just... Yeah, someone did actually. Well, hey, seeing as we've got a long, hard road ahead of us, let's knock back some drinks. Sure, on whose tab? Well, there's the pay bonuses the boss left us. Come on, man, we gotta save those for a rainy day. Oh, why be so cheap? The boss is in the afterlife right now, yelling at us to live while we can. You're full of shit. I say we don't do it. The Dachi son turns a bit feral when it comes to alcohol. Mm-hmm. Super beer! Every time I see it, I'm just going to say super beer. It's... Constitution's oh. Go. No more bleaching Oh, no. It's Bleach Japan. What the hell? The place is already shut down. What do they want now? My friends! Look at this filthy, evil den of iniquity! Yes, it's an ugly little soap land. Just the other day, our tireless efforts led to the shuttering of this foul place! Yeah! 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 This is our victory! The first bricks of the Grey Zone suffocating this city have cracked and fallen away! But we must not be complacent! We must press on until all the Grey Zones have been purified! Yeah! yeah! Hey, we're in mourning right now. It's really not a good time. I'm sorry. I didn't realize there was still vermin lurking around here. 
Don't you have any respect for people in grief? Don't you have any respect for the law? The shop is closed. This building should be vacant. That's yeah! right! You heard him. Get out of town, you riff Oh, he's a muscle head. Keep your protest to shouting. You lay hands on us, there'll be hell to pay. Hey, did you all see that? This thug's showing us his true colors. He thinks he can use violence to crush the voices of the people. He's obviously he threw living the first in the punch. past. Hurry, let's close up before they start in on us too. Where's the Seriu clan when you need them? What are we paying them protection money for? Get the friggin' heck out of here! People like you are ruining society! You're all criminals! You're enemies of good people! <sighs> now, get out of our town and don't ever come back. I'm just grateful the owner of this shop finally realized what he truly was. A filth-spreading vector of disease. He did the noble thing by taking his own life. Break his nose for the god. What did you just say? What was his name? No, no, Mia. Just looking at him made me want to vomit. I really can't bring myself to be sorry that he's gone. When I think about that man dangling at the end of a rope. <sighs> I feel the same way I do when I finish my spring cleaning. Who do you think you are? Get the fuck out of here. Don't. That won't work, Sachan. Why not? Too late now, you little tart. You assaulted me. You all saw it. Someone call the police. Slapping a guy like him never does much. What? This kind of fucker. You gotta hit him like this! Yes! <laughs> Our leader's down! Let's get in there! Oh, they came with bats. They wanted the fight. Seriously? You brought bats? What, were you hoping for a quick ball game during the protest? They were ready to incite violence all along. We're good to go, right boss? Of course. You saw it! They attacked us first! Well, technically, your guy tacked me first. I just refused to Come fight on, back. Come on, everyone! This is our moment! Bleach the Grey! Oh, I'm gonna have fun beating you up. Yeah. All right, immediately. Have fun with this. I got this. Oh my. Eh, two of them missed. Here we go. Point. You're weak. Let's go. Get caught. Come in, Nile. Pull it together, gentlemen. You're gonna be in a world. Um, I'm gonna just attack normally. Then I'm gonna do reckless charge with a dodge. Oh wait, what? Oh dear. Let's go. There we go. Don't get cocky. Watch this. Out of my sight. Do something. Go, 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 go! Cool! Yeah. You want to go? You're in it now. Have fun with this. 
little first aid. Oh, so close. Oh, damn it. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, his body freaked out. That was funny. Uh, we'll do Let's this. Go. Just to make sure. Oh. You have no place here. I forgot there was a phase two. Alright, right, I'm happy you could uh... I got this. You wanna Try fight? this on your side. Shake, 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 shake. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh he was weak. Yeah. Namba, for the love of God, heal me. You're gonna Watch get this. Namba got you. Thank you. Cool. Just so I can stab him. Check this out. Like this. Let's see. Uh, don't get cocky. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, so close to dying. Oh, wait. Oh, good job, Kazuga. Here we go. All right. Here, have some champagne on me. Oh, sparkling wine. Oh, beautiful. Now he's drunk. Take your fun with this. Get serious. Yes. Ooh, two ranks. Nice. I just learned Berserker Spear. I think that increases my next... It doubles the damage my next attack does, if I remember correctly. Hell yeah. All right, we got Endless Desire. Look at me go. Shield Blast is really good, and... Ashtray Crush is pretty decent. I do say so myself. <laughs> Someone call the police! Tell them we're being attacked by thugs! I hate to say, you're not the most popular person around this area. Hmm. Go away! 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 Go this away. isn't over! Go away! Go the memory away. of today will only Go strengthen away. our resolve! Go away! We're done playing around! Man, for someone who Serves wants everyone right. to fall the law, he absolutely just wants to go this against the law town. to kill us. Or beat us, Good I should say. Good job, everyone! So inspiring to see you fight evil! Yeah, remember this day with pride! They got what was coming to them. Couldn't let him talk shit about the recently departed like that. But I'm the one who got us into a scuffle. Uh, sorry, I should have stayed calm. Nah, don't worry about it. Now we know what they're really about. Besides... What? If somebody messes with one of us, they mess with all of us. Man, that felt good! After all this time, we got to actually do something! Yeah! I wish those useless bums in the Seiryu clan could have seen that! Oh, come on, they ain't that bad. Yes, they are. We can't rely on them. I've realized something. No one's gonna protect us but us. The Yakuza aren't gonna help. I agree! These dudes are way more reliable than that dumb Seiryu clan! Yeah! Remember this day should be coming up with you, you. Not them. You should teach I them another way lesson. safer with you around. Well, everyone loves us. But I got a feeling we're going to see more Bleach of Japan. Bleach of Japan. Bleach Japan. <laughs> Man, that was nice. Feels like forever since I got a compliment. Yeah. 
Hell! No, the Mia son. Hmm? What's her deal? Oh, it's aha, money time. Is it closed today? No, no, Mia san, it's me, Erika Mataki. Uh, can I help you? Are you here for an interview or something? What? Oh, no, I'm not here for an interview. And you are? Oh, I'm Kasuga. I guess you could say I used to work here. Really? You worked here? Oh, well, anyway. Is Nonomiya-san in right now? I'm supposed uh, to meet with him today. About that. Uh, you see, well, that's a little complicated. You know... No, what? Well, Nonomiya-san, he... He died. What? Uh... He's... I don't... He can't be. Uh, that's not. Uh... Hey, hey! Oh shit! I think we're losing her. Hey, hey you all right? <laughs> hey, the guy she just fainted. Are you feeling better? I'm so sorry. That was so embarrassing. I've been trying to get a hold of Nonomiya-san by phone for the longest time, but I never would have guessed he'd passed away. Yeah, sorry to have freaked you out. By the way, what's your name? I'm Eri. I'm president of Ichiban Confections. Well, damn, Eri-chan. You're a president at your age? That's incredible. Ichiban Confections? Nice! My name's Ichiban too, actually. Ichiban Kasuga. Great minds think alike. <laughs> what a coincidence. I'm sure I don't need to tell you this, but it also means the best, which is why my grandfather chose it. He wanted his senbei to be the best in Yokohama. Ah, senbei. Man, I love a good rice cracker. Anyway, how do you know Nonomiya-san? Well... Nonomiya-san was supposed to step in and take over the company. I came by today to discuss things with him. What? Nonomiya-san? President of a legitimate business? I mean, he was a savvy businessman, regardless of what he was selling. No, oh, right. So, Ichiban Confections only sells snacks, right? Nothing, uh, <laughs> else? Correct. My grandfather started it back in the day, selling his prized senbei. But after he passed away, my father took over and expanded the business to other confectionaries and restaurants. We actually got to be kind of big, and we even gained a bit of a reputation in Ijingcho. Until... Until? Until three years ago, when my father succumbed to an illness. My mother passed away when I was a little girl, so we didn't really have anyone we could turn to to keep the business afloat. I was still a student back then, but I quit school to come back home. I wasn't about to let the dream my father and grandfather worked so hard to make a reality go to waste. I worked day in, day out to learn the business, but I guess it still wasn't enough. I'm a complete amateur, so managing everything was really difficult. And to make things worse, I got tricked into what I thought would be a good deal for us. Now most of our stores and businesses belong to a bunch of crooks. That's messed up. The only thing left is the senbei shop. My father and grandfather would be so ashamed of me. And with the loan I was still paying, staying in charge of the business would have only made things worse. Although I hated the thought, I'd considered closing Ichiban Confections for good. But that's when Nonomiya-san showed up and offered a helping hand. Hmm. He used to be a regular of the senbei shop. And not only that, but he treated me like a daughter ever since I was a baby. When he heard about how the business was in trouble, he immediately stepped in to help. He paid off my loan in full, and even offered to help run the business, so that my grandpa's senbei could live on. Oh, crazy. There's no no me of being a cool guy on the down low again. He deserved more respect than he got. Yeah. 
I thought maybe this was going to be another one of those exploiter and, you know, force her to work in his soapland situations. <sighs> I never saw him interact with his other businesses, but he was always very kind to me. Well, I can see the guy being a regular, but stepping in to become president? Maybe he just wanted some extra cash. It's possible, but Nonomiya had dreams of his own, you know. He did? Yeah, he actually did want to go legitimate. That was his dream for a long time. I had to listen to him talk about it every time he had a few too many. He said he wanted to start up his own business create a sort of safety net for Ijincho. The uh, what? Ijincho safety net. Begins. One way or another, Ijincho has become a place for people who have nowhere else to go. So if the floor falls out from beneath a city like this, what would they have left? So, he always talked about how he wanted to create a safety net. One big enough to catch these people from falling away. Apparently, he had the same intentions for Orohime Land as well. Well, maybe he wasn't so bad after all. Yes, well, he also pushed his employees too hard, and he had his fingers in a lot of shady stuff, so... I could never tell if he was being honest or not. Looking back, though, his place was the only one that took us in when we had nowhere else to go. Nonomiya-san was telling the truth, if you ask me. I think so, too. I always believed in him. After all, he volunteered to take on his struggling senbei shop. I mean, there's plenty of other ways to make money in this town. Hmm. Anyway, I should get going. I'm so sorry to trouble all of you. Wait, what about your business? I think Nonomiya-san dying is maybe the final nail. What? There's only so much someone like me can do in this position. If I can't find someone more competent to run things, I'll have no choice but to close up shop. Besides, this business will fizzle out sooner or later if I'm left in charge. I should take the hint. I had no place here anyway. Hey now, is that what you really want? This place is important to you, isn't it? You'd really call it quits after everything your dad and Gramps did for it? Well, that's not what I want at all. I loved my dad and my grandpa. And I know they poured their hearts into the shop. So it's heartbreaking to close the doors. It really is. But Nonomiya-san's gone. And most of my employees left. They knew we were in the red. I don't have anyone else I can count on. No strategy. I'm completely alone. Hmm. I suppose I'm just reaping what I've sown. It was my own fault for trusting those con artists. <laughs> what was I thinking? I'm so mad at myself. Mary Chan. All right, I got you. Huh? Huh? Oh no. You don't have to worry about a thing. Just leave all this company stuff to me and the gang. <sighs> really? But I. Are you sure? Yeah, you can count on it. Meeting here like this is too much of a coincidence. And the shop's even called Ichiban Confections. That's gotta be fate. Right, guys? What are you talking about? You don't know the first thing about running a business. Come on, we can't just leave it like this, can we? You just leave her hanging? Plus, what about Nonomiya-san's dream to become the city's safety net? This can be our way to carry on his torch. But don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm all for it too. But this is actual management we're talking about. I know, but... We owe Nonomiya-san our lives, right? He was the guy who took us in when no one else would. I want to help. He gave up everything to save us. And nobody's gonna pick his dreams up off the floor unless we do. Let's just think of this as paying him back. Ah, <sighs> Ichan. <laughs> 
paying him back, huh? <laughs> Figures you'd say that. Well, we all know there's no change in his mind now. So give it all you got, Ichiban. We'll be rooting for you. Thanks. Uh, wait, you're gonna help too, aren't you? Good luck, Ichiban. If anyone can pick up a failing business and use it to save the city, that's you. I believe in you, Ichan. Y yeah, but w what about you guys? Kasuga-san, you... Are you really sure about this? Huh? Look, well, yeah. I don't go back on my word. I'll be your president, prime minister, whatever you need. Ichiban for president. Thank you. I mean that from the bottom of my heart, Kasuga-san. Don't mention it. Looking forward to doing this, Seri John. Likewise. Okay, then. If it's all right with you, why don't I show you around the company? Sure. You got this, Mr. President. Hail to the chief. President Kasaga! Come on, guys. Well, this is it. This is the first floor, which is our little senbei shop. Oh, have you always been here? The shop has, but the company itself was headquartered in a much bigger building with a lot more employees before it was taken over. But in the end, the business took a turn for the worse and we ended up back here. The office is on the second floor. Please, follow me. Right behind you. It's a small little uh, office, but it's not too bad. Oh, so this is the office. You'll have to excuse the mess we've got going right now. Hey, Eri-chan. Welcome back. Is this the guy you were texting me about? Yes. Kasuga-san will be helping with the company in the place of Nonomiya-san. Kasuga-san, this is my grandmother. She's the only family I have left. She helps out with the shop downstairs on days when she feels well enough. I'm Tomei Kamataki. Nice to meet you. Tomei-san, huh? I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you, too. Hmm. Older gentleman. Unique hairdo. Thick build, toned muscles. <laughs> Quite a boyfriend you've got yourself, Eri-chan. Grandma, he's not my boyfriend. Were you even listening? Oh. Uh, honestly, sorry about that, Kasuga-san. It's cool. Huh? Whoa. Why is there a chicken here? That's Omelette, our company pet. Well, I guess she's more like the company mascot. She's a good girl, though. You won't have to worry about anything. In fact, the company uses her eggs. Uh, oh, right on. Nice to meet you, Omelette. <laughs> okay, perhaps this would be a good time to go over the basics of management. This is going to be quite a tutorial, so just let me know when you have the time. I love how Nugget's sure just... Thing. Not Nug... Nu so Nugget is in Yakuza, but this is Omelette. I'm going to say Omelette's its, uh, child. Learn basics. I'm ready to start your training whenever you are. What do you think? We have a time, and I yeah, need money. Let's do it. All right, then. Here we go. Omelette. Omelette's gonna be our best employee. Just you wait. Oh, jeez. Here we go. This is bus business management simulation in which Kazuga takes the role of the company's president in order to bring Ichiban Confections straight to the top. If you want to become the best company in Yokohama, 
you'll have to reach the number one spot in the share price ranking. Management is played out in two phases, day-to-day -day business and shareholder meetings. Kazuga will run the business a total of four times, then give a financial report at the shareholder meeting at the end of each period. In keeping with good pr business practices, Kazuga cannot use company funds as his personal piggy bank, nor can he use any of his personal funds to fund the company. They say one of the best ways to boost profit is to boost sales. Let's try running the business once to get feel how management works. All right, we're gonna. We got a job. Oh, projected is we're gonna lose a lot of money. Yay! Your employees are motivated, open for business. Oh, employees are slacking. Come on, come on. Two main returns coming in. Oh, that's not good. Come on, come on, guys, we got this. The staff is waning. Come on, traffic calls delays. We got this. Okay, we didn't do as bad as we projected. These results are kind of underwhelming. All right. Tanking. Yep. We'll just have to make up for it. Whoops. Yeah, okay, we lost, uh, not as much, but we still lost money. And that's about all there is to managing a business. So? Not too hard, is it? Yeah, not so bad. Uh, yo, wait up. You're acting like this is in the back, but we're flat broke. Broke as hell. Uh, you didn't have to put it like that. Right now, all we have on staff is a bunch of deadbeats. And don't even get me started on the furniture and equipment. Of course we're in the red. So what can we do? We'll have to invest. Uh, we need to advertise, hire competent staff, get new equipment, maybe some new furniture while we're at it. Then we're gonna pay for all that how? Uh, good question. And what the hell do we do? That's where you come in. Seriously? What kind of mess did I get myself? Don't forget, in uh, chapter one, we found that business guy we helped out, and he did give us our phone number. His phone number. Self into. All right. Well, first off, let's think about how we'll get the money to cover the infrastructure and new hires. I don't know if anyone would be willing to invest in us. Come on. I suppose we'll Remember have to take Kasuga. out another loan. Uh, and after Nonomiya-san just repaid the last one, too. Would you know anybody? Who, someone with money. Or a rich friend. Or maybe someone from your childhood who grew up to be an oil baron. Look, I'm unemployed and ex-Yakuza. Why would I have... Wait. What is it? No, he wouldn't. Would he? <laughs> That's where I'm at. Come on, Nick. I want to do this. For both the company and Nonomiya-san's sake. I just need a little bit of... Financing, I think it's called. Please, man. Can you help me out? Uh. Huh? <laughs> you okay there, Nick? <laughs> Excellent! Your kindness and consideration for others is truly moving. Come be impressed. Downright emotional! Consider it done. I'd be thrilled to invest in your company. Really? Man, thanks, Nick. That said, I'm no novice when it comes to management. I can't just throw money at you like it's nothing. If you want the funds, you have to meet my three conditions. Uh, conditions? Indeed. If you can agree to them, consider the investment yours. Seriously? Okay, yeah, man, whatever it takes. So, what are these conditions? First condition, the company must never be in the red. Now, I don't ever want to see a minus next to company funds. And that includes the starting capital I'm about to give you. If I do, I'll have arrangements made to counter this on my end. This is by no means free money, and I am not a charity. Sound good so far? Yeah, that's fine. Very well. Second condition. I want the company's share price ranking to be within Yokohama's top 100 by the specified deadline. Share what now? Ranking. It's what measures a company's value. 
If the share price goes up, so does the ranking. And I want your company to be in the top 100. Knowing you and your company's potential, it should be a piece of cake. So the deadline is simply there to keep you motivated. I'll contact you later regarding the deadline. Condition 2 suits you fine? Yeah. Well, what's condition 3? The last condition. And you can take all the time you need with this one. I want you to become the number one company in the share price ranking. Best of the best, huh? I want that little confectionery of yours to be the crown jewel of Yokohama. In other words, get out there and get to the top. I'm not willing to invest my money into anyone who can't fulfill these conditions. So, what'll it be? You got yourself a deal. I don't fully understand it, but I'm gonna do my best. I'll see you to it that Ichiban Confections becomes the biggest company in Yokohama. Then we're on the same page. Okay. With that, I'll go get the first portion of the investment ready for you. You're free to use the money for whatever you like, be that improving infrastructure or personnel logistics and training. Awesome! Thanks a bunch, Nick. No need to thank me. I'm expecting some kind of return once your company is good and stable. Looking forward to the results. Well, adios. Well, that's good news. Just look at all this money! Wow, boyfriend, you actually did it! I'd be all over you if I was younger! <laughs> Gee, <laughs> thanks, lady. I'll take that as a compliment. This is amazing! Thank you, Kasuga-san! Save your thanks for Nick Ogata. Besides, it's not like this came with no strings attached. There are conditions. No dropping into the red, be in the top 100 share price ranking by the specified deadline, and ultimately take the top rank in share price. These are his conditions? Yeah, and I'm not about to disappoint the man. I made a promise to fulfill them. Top 100? Hmm, that's gonna be tough. So we'll have to make sure we do our very best. Well, let's start by using this money to get this company back on its feet again. Kasuga-san, just let me know when you're ready to begin. You got it. I'll probably have to... Okay, 5 million, awesome. Alright, within 5 business periods. Alright, probably get some new staff immediately. I think it's about time we put Nick Sa Just let me know. Wait, actually, let me save. Let me save. Let me save. Oh, nope, nope, not yet. Wait, where's this? Pfft. I kept passing it. No, 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 no. This... Different saves. Every time, different saves. Just in case I accidentally stop recording. Different saves. Wait, Omelette, you feeling good? Yeah, Omelette's good. I think it's about... Yeah, let's... Then without further ado, let's begin. Alright, immediately, I think we should at least hire one new employee... Oh, Kazuka-san. I think it'd be wise to mac maximize Nick-san's investment by reviewing the current state of the company. Let's start by checking E on Ichiban Confections. All right, properties. Now, properties allows you to buy or sell properties. Wow, really? You don't say. As well as improve those that you own. But right now, I feel we should focus on assigning our employees. As it turns out, I'm not too sure about what works best for us. Kazuko-san, I'll leave review of the assigned employees to you. Go to Assign to change employees inside to your property. Select Assign, then Ichiban Confections. Each property has ability requirements that affect profit if your product, services, and reputation are not up to par, you may face difficulties in your business like diminishing sales and unforeseen issues. Make sure to stay above the, product serv the products, services, and reputation requirements by switching around your assigned employees. Right now, we're, oh, service and notability are down. So this guy, he can go. Okay, nope. All right, nope, nope, nope. Actually, oh wait, he's already in there. All right, Grandma has to stay. Oh wait, actually, I'll handle it, Sonny. Right, no, we can't have two chickens. Oh damn! Um, damn it. We are just under on notability. Kazuka-san. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Let me... Let me try again. Alright. 
no. Wait. No, damn it. Damn it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It just hit me. Leader. Yeah, because the leader gets the... Okay, okay. Give me a second. Let's start from scratch. Which person has the best stats in all round? Grandma does. Oh. Ye oh, I'm a bloody idiot. Sorry. Now I remember how to do this. Nicely done, Kazuka-san. Employees are assigned and ready to go. Continuing on, please check that the employees assigned to Ichiban Confections. They are. Nice! Now we get a profit. Go to employees to check details employees. Select employees, then the employee list. Ichiban Confections currently has five members, but to be honest, the wages we're paying out are one of the biggest determinants to our profits. This is going to sound terrible. Playing off two pool. Okay, yeah. Goodbye, sir. The wages of the employees who are not assigned to the property are paid in the form of surplus labor costs, which are deducted from sales. Try to avoid risking your business by laying off the ease employees when, con when conditions are not satisfactory. Alright, we should be good now. Great, we should start seeing some improvements from here on. All that's left now is to see where the dice falls. You can also strengthen properties from the management properties menu. How you handle that is up to you, Kazuga-san. Okay, Kazuga-san, if you're all set, let's get down to business. Alright, we can upgrade it. But doing so makes it... Yeah, okay. Alright. All right, we can get more investments now. Let's open for business. We got a job to do. Let's get out of that red. Come on, we can do it. Get out of that red. Your employees are motivated. Open for business. That's not right. We're overstocked. That's not good. Come on, we got this, guys. I will fast forward later, but not now. The display is drawing guys. Good. Cool. Great proc lineup. Hey, hey, we're making a profit. We're making it. Yes. Oh, wait, we're slowing down. Did this? Oh, there my Holy cow, that just sped us up. Nice. Oh my god, we're about to get. Ooh, 174,000 yen. Nice. We did it. We got profit. These are incredible. Results. Yeah, first time making a profit, nice. probably. In a you guys did great out nice. There. Grandma leveled up. The lady leveled up. Not omelet. Are going up. Oh wait, are we gonna go up or down? Oh, that's the good shit. Hey, we went up. We're up to 152. Our ranking went up. Oh, we went up to 151. Hey, we barely made a profit, but that's good. We got something. And this is the best way to farm money in the game, by the way. Hell yeah, we actually made a profit. Amazing, we did it. And all thanks to Nixon's investment. Having an investor makes all the difference, it seems. It just goes to show the importance of where you put your money. Right, to invest in people or infrastructure. There are so many ways to do this right here and now, but we should also consider how the money can be used in the future. Money for the future. I guess it all boils down to making the right choice at the right time. There's more to this than I thought. I'd say we're on the right track, seeing as we made a profit this time. Ichiban Confections is finally making a comeback. Let's continue working our way into the top 100 Kasuga-san. Uh, President Kasuga. You know it. Omelette agrees. Oh, wait. Omelette is a pound mate. Nice. Alright, let's make some money. Oh, I can't do this, can I? Damn it. I have to wait until I do more story to unlock it. Damn it. I was hoping to farm money. Because I will sit and do that entire <sighs> thing in one go. Hell of a day. That'll probably be next episode. Uh, we've got our gig at the Yokohama Trading Company tomorrow. Again. Guess we should just head back and hit the hay. 
Yeah, it's not healthy to stay up too late. Who are you, the sleep police? I'll go to bed when I'm ready. Come on, we're buddies now. So trust me, you need your beauty sleep. She doesn't have a thing for me, does she? You ever notice how she only picks on me? <laughs> Maybe that's what she does to men she's secretly attracted to. Not a chance in hell, old boy. Hey, how about I make dinner for everyone? Wow, you can cook? Like a chef. I'll just go buy some ingredients. Nanchan, come with me and carry the bags. Nanchan? Here we go. <laughs> she sure seems happy about falling in with us. But... But what? I wonder if it's really the best thing for her, you know? Well, I guess it is a dangerous bridge she's crossing with us. But it's what she wants. Just because she's having a little fun with it doesn't mean she ain't committed. Shouldn't we respect that? Yeah, you're right. Okay, be back in two shakes. We sure ain't hard last night. We, we sure went hard last night, huh? <laughs> it was a nice change of pace. Yeah. Guess we should ha head to the warehouse. What's up? We gotta get to the bottom of the Shea stuff quick. I can't handle much more of it. All right. And I think I will end it here. Oh, I okay. hate you. Okay, Next. Xi Xi. Let's see. One million yuan. Just a minute. No, there's not enough. Excuse me, boss? What is it? There isn't enough money in the safe. Huh? Oh, well, we have had a lot of shipments lately. What?这个当初讲好的不一样吧？批发价会算你这么便宜，就是因为说好当场付现的。没钱的话，东西我们可要收回去了。知道了，我去银行抽钱回来。三十分钟后，你们再过来。这次可要准备好啊！放心了，相信我
And that's where the box comes in, remember? There was a box with paper in it, next to the uh, ones with shark fins and abalone and stuff. Yeah, just reams and reams of paper. Before he paid the guy, the foreman took that paper up to the second floor. Wait, are you saying the paper is... It's what they use to print the fake money. They make that shit right there. You think they have that kind of printer? They've gotta. What, and, and all the stuff they're importing, they just buy it with their fake-ass money? I don't know. Seems like a damn foolish plan. But it's possible. They do make all their payments up front with cash. That's really unusual in this day and age, especially with the sales volume they have. Another good point. There has to be some reason why they would refuse to use a bank. And I think their big profits tell the same story. Me too. Well, maybe it sounds believable to you two, but not to me. But it's right there. The reason they pay in cash is to use their fake money. Can't do that with a bank. That would also explain why they're able to sell at cost. The profits would be crazy doing it this way. I mean, after all, they're essentially getting their product for free. Plus, the seller takes the fake bills to China, where they won't be traced back to Japan. That's bold. But in a way, airtight. Mabuchi's a sharp guy. Maybe his primary goal is to hide where the money comes from. What, you mean money laundering? When I was in prison, I heard some guys in my room talking. They said foreign currency is easier to fake than yen. But the problem was, you have no way of turning that fake money into yen. If you take it to the bank, they'll know it's fake right away. Maybe that's why Mabuchi is laundering the shit with a cash-only trading company. The products are just a front for the money laundering. Sounds like we have a lead on Mabuchi's fraudulent scheme. Let's use this to threaten him. We've got leverage now. Wait, this is all just speculation so far. We need to find solid proof that he's counterfeiting money. Proof that will really force his hand. What if we snuck up to the second floor and took a picture of the money printer? No way would it be that easy. If they have a printer up there, security on that floor will be tight as hell. And if we get caught, it won't just be a slap on the wrist, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's not do anything super dangerous. We only need to sneak out one fake bill. Psycho, you already have access to the fake money. Uh, yeah, but didn't I tell you about the body check they do on me when I leave? Now I see why. They're doing that to ensure I don't take any of the fakes. Okay, but they don't check us guys. We're just unloading crates. Could you slip us a bill while we're working? I could try. You have to be really careful. Of course. Nice. Tomorrow I can say goodbye to all this manual labor. I'm actually feeling kind of excited about this plan. Then I'll make us an exciting dinner tonight. <laughs> we'll all need our energy. Nanchan, we're going shopping again. Me again? I'm beat. No worries, I'll go. Ichiban, you used to be a Yakuza, right? Uh, yeah. Your old life must have been a scary one. Was it hard on you? I guess so. But what counts as scary is different for everyone, isn't it? And, you know, it changes over time and all that. Yeah, I understand. I'll tell you something. The old me would have no idea what to do in this situation. But the new me? It feels like she can do anything. Or at the very least, what used to scare her, just doesn't anymore. Sounds great. But you still gotta remember what actually is dangerous and be careful. You worry too much. Come on, let's go. <sighs> All right. Oh, there's a hello work thing. Oh, there's a side quest. Can I do anything at Ichiban Confections? Probably not. 
There's a... Oh, I can finish the side quest right there. The one with the homeless man. Uh... Yeah, okay. I've been going for a while, and I have to go somewhere. So I'm gonna call it here. So yeah, it seems like next time we're gonna try and steal a fake bill. At the warehouse work, and have to prove they're counterfeiting money. Where they're turning uh, Chinese money. They're, they're basically... They're getting paid yen for all their ingredients they're selling. But they're paying everything in fake Chinese money. Therefore, they're getting the product basically for free and getting all the profits. Bing, bing. And now we're going to try and steal and walk out with a fake bill to basically make Mabuchi do something and talk to us. But we'll have to see next time. But until then, goodbye.